Well, Kimono was the first group ranch in the ecosystem that subdivided. But the first thing that happened there, huge amounts of land were sold. So as soon as people received title, they sold their land for nothing. You know, I know of cases where they sold land um, for as little as 500,000 shillings for a 60 acre block. And that's resulted in a lot of outsiders coming in um, and developing those blocks into major agricultural farms. And unless it's managed correctly, we'll see Amboseli being strangled. Amboseli requires wildlife to move in and out. It's part of the ecosystem. So you've got to have corridors, you've got to have dispersal areas. And that is now in great jeopardy. One consequence which we deal with on a daily basis is conflict, where wildlife is coming into these farms and raiding them and at some, sometimes destroying the whole crop. Where before there's no fence, so many animals, they're just passing everywhere. They, there's a lot of conflicts. We are looking after our fence to to be good, so that can look after the animals to pass the corridor. The time we was chasing there, then he cheated us and then came back to us and then to end up the chambers. The ecosystem today is a lot smaller than it was 50 years ago, 100 years ago. Um, you know, it was probably once about three million acres. Today what you could truly say the ecosystem where animals have passage and can move is maybe one and a half million. The rate of change here is extraordinary. It's moving so fast. It's a snowball effect. And, um, you know, it's led to a lot more land being taken up by cultivation. We're seeing wetlands like Kimana, swamp, Namalog swamp, Inchalai swamp. Now, no longer a wetland, they've just become farming areas, which of course is going to have a huge impact. Also within that we've seen a big movement of migrant labour. The Maasai culturally are not farming, so they tend to bring labour from outside different tribes to come and actually do the agricultural, the, the hard work. I believe that subdivision is need not necessarily be a bad thing, as long as planning comes with it. Even more importantly, and this is the challenge, is the plans are implemented correctly. You can have a great plan, but if it's not implemented, it's worthless. The only way you can do it is to actually lease land. So when the subdivision happens, and then you, you know area A is an important corridor, um, Big Life's role would be, as we've done in Kimana Corridor, is to come in, identify the landowners who own them, and then pay a lease fee, which allows animals to pass, you know. It's a very expensive process, um, because you also have to fence. You, you know, where you have agriculture, you've probably seen the fence we built at Sinet, going all the way to the town near border. Depending on the type of fence, anything between twelve dollars to $15,000 per kilometre. We've done about 110, I think. Well, it's, it's ongoing. I, I don't see an end to fencing. As the subdivision happens, you know, we've got to maintain fencing to um, secure the farmers away from the wildlife. Big Life employs over 500 people, and 98% of them are from the community. So that's a big um, income stream. And then we try and develop tourism revenue. People come in, they pay the conservation fees and entrance fees. 
another source of revenue for the community. So you can't just look at the lease, there's other things on top of it. The need for everybody to own land is is based on <laughs> distrust for the leadership. They, whatever income those group branches were coming, uh, were getting, doesn't filter down to the average member. So they think it's better off we own the land, which in some ways is good because it means we can deal direct with the landowner. <laughs> Lakini mwenye shamba ajawana pesa. Kimelipa watu tatu. Treasurer, na chairman, na secretary. Ule mtu ya wata yengine raya ajawana pesa. Ya community. Ajawana. Kimeona ule natafautisha ule wakati eniki kwa saa hii. Yu eniki akikija saa hii, wakipita hiyo mashamba, akulipa mutu. Masaya na kiseka sana kwa sababu kwa wasoma hiyo watoto. Anataka wasoma hiyo watoto na hakuna uwezo. Malimu anaitaji hiyo thesa ya yasuku. Kama mimi, mimi anakasi na watoto mingi tasomesha. Unausa ngombe. Sasa kuhusa ngombe, watoto nafika wapi? Class 8. Nimetoka lasima tunameshindwa lasima tunatoka ule amuse ya samani ausi mashamba sababu aisomesha watoto lakini kwa shule saa hii wakati ya saa hii ni ngumu watu mingi sana wamekaa sana kwa maskini ni hakuna ngombe mimi atapata kama kasi ni muhimu sana Uyu atapata kasi ni muhimu sana. Mtu wa jirani atapata kasi ni muhimu sana. Sisi anamulika kesho kutwa. They decided to divide land into divisions so that everybody to part his part of land. We want everybody to benefit. If we make conservancy like Kitendon conservancy, Kitirwa conservancy, 